everyone and welcome to a sold out Lima Senior High School for today's Division Three District Final between the Spencerville Bearcats and the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Hello everyone, I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilly Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. Gilly, we got a special one today, brother. This is a rematch from last year's District Final. The gym is sold out. Northwest Ohio is the best place Every, for tournament Everybody's action. here, aren't they? <laughs> they are. And the temperature of this gymnasium is going to go through the roof here in a little while. It absolutely is. Gilly, Spencerville comes in at 20 and 4. 8-0 in the Northwest Conference. Look, a little revenge may be on the minds of them, but this is a different team than last year. No question, it's a different team, but you know what? 365 days ago, you know, they're chomping at the bit. They walked off the court, knew they got beat by a better team, and Coach Sensible is going to be the first one to admit that. Uh, got beat 78-51, to 51, I believe, and, uh, you know, they were dominated by Colin White and, and the senior class from last year, but like you said, Spencerville's a different ball club with a different set of nucleus of players, and you can guarantee both ball clubs and both coaching staffs, they're not looking past this game. Gilly Ottawa Glandorf, look, it's good to be the king. They are 21 and 3, 9 and 0. What a tradition they have. Their side's full, their kids are ready to go. Well, they've been there and they've done that, you know, and the seniors especially is on a mission. They want to get back down to Dayton and they want to seal the deal. And in order to do that, they, you know, they've got to start playing their best basketball, and it's got to start right here because I'll tell you what, Spencerville's not going to roll over. Today's pregame show and our tips of the game are brought to you by the State Bank. For all your banking and financial services needs, visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Gilly, when we come back, we'll take a look at the tips for each of these teams, and we'll talk about all the action right here on WOS. Welcome back to a sold out Lima Senior Gymnasium for today's Division Three District Final between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Spencerville Bearcats. Hello everyone, I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilly Gilbert. And Gilly, let's take a look at our tips of the game and our pregame here that's brought to us by the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit your State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, let's take a look right now for the Spencerville Bearcats. Number one, the transition game. And what am I talking about here? Both directions. They can't be hesitant or tentative if they're given an opportunity off the rebound or a steal to attack. However, they got to make sure if they're on the defensive end, they got to get back quickly because OG does just a terrific job pushing the basketball themselves. Three ball, corner pocket. OG's really good at going side to side with the basketball and spotting up corners. Shooters in the corner for three-point attempts. OG wants to make you help on the ball first, which allows open looks. And lastly, they got to have the one-and-done mentality. They got to match OG's athleticism on the glass from all five spots on the floor. Gilly, for Ottawa Glandorf, they come in here. They won this game last year, 78-51. They've got a possible Mr. Basketball candidate in Colin White. Everything's working right now for the Titans. Everything is going the, the, the direction the Titans want right now. Uh, three keys to, to look for tonight. One, they need to minimize the slicing and slashing guard play of Spencerville. That would be the Sensible brothers, Will and Owen, as well as Evan Osting because they can hurt you in such a variety of ways if you let them go north and south and get into the pain area. They can score off the dribble, they can dish the ball off the post players, or they can find open teammates sliding on that three-point line. Number two, they've got to make sure that they contain Spencerville's big three. Those would be the two Sensible brothers as well as Carter Sudoff, and we know what Sudoff is capable of doing uh, running the floor and also in the post area. And lastly, they've got to make sure that they focus for 32 minutes. A team like Spencerville, you can't give them multiple scoring opportunities. You can't have a breakdown on defense. You can't make a poor pass or you cannot miss a box out. So those are the, the keys, I think, for both ball clubs. I think we're in for a great contest, my buddy. Gilly, it's Ottawa Glandorf, it's Spencerville, it's the district finals, a sold out jam-packed Lima Senior. When we come back, folks, we'll have the opening tip. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
We're back here at Lima Senior High School for today's Division III District Final Game between the Spencerville Bearcats and the Ottawa Glendale Titans. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilly Gilbert. Darren, I gotta ask you something. Does does last year's game play any factor into this year's game? Yes and no. I think I think it has an effect on Spencerville because of the way the outcome turned out to be. Sure. But especially lingering in the minds of those kids that played. Now, obviously the youngest sense of all and some of those kids that didn't see a lot of right. time or didn't see the floor. But the, the returnees, yes. And obviously Ottawa Glandorf, but Ottawa Glandorf, you know, is going to respect Spencerville from this tip off for the for the full duration of the thirty two minutes. Absolutely. And the same same Danny with both coaches. Okay. Let's take a look at today's starting lineups for both of our teams. For the Spencerville Bearcats, they come in at 20 and 4, 8 and 0 in the Northwest Conference. Scoring wise, they average 61.4 a game, and defensively, they give up 46.1. They'll start number two, Will Sensible, a 5'10 freshman guard who averages 10.1 a game. Number five, Evan Osting is a 6'2 senior guard at 9.9 a game. Number 13, Owen Sensible, a 5'11 sophomore guard at 14.2 a game. Number 23, Carter Sutoff is a 6'6 senior. He averages 12.9 a game. And number 24, Carter Orr, is a 6'4 junior forward at 6.4 a game. And Gilly Ottawa Glandorf comes in. Look, they're 21 and 3, 9 and 0 in the league. They're used to this. This is old noise to them. This is just a stepping stone of what they've they've went through the last three years. Uh, this is another hurdle, Danny, that they've got to get through. And quite frankly, this is a huge hurdle because this is a rematch of last year's game. And, and you could tell by the the fan base, both both teams and both communities are looking forward to this, just like me and you are. <laughs> right, we so are. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. 21-3, 9-0 in the Western Buckeye League. Gilly, they come in averaging 65.2 a game. Defensively, they give up 47.2. They're going to go with number three, Grant Schrader, a 6'1 senior guard at 6.6 a game. Number four, Grady Tomazos is a six-foot junior guard at 7.7 .7 a game. Number 11, Dave Westrick, a 6'7 senior forward. And number 22, Colin White, the 6'6 senior guard at 23.9 a game. And the rounding out the starting five, number 24, Caden Erford, a 6'4 senior forward at 14.2 a game. Gilly, you talk about coaching staffs. We've got two fantastic coaching staffs for the Spencerville Bearcats. Kevin Sensible in his 22nd year, and for the uh, head, or the, excuse me, the Ottawa Glendale Titans, Tyson McLaughlin in his 13th season. You can't get a better matchup on the bench bosses right there. No, I mean both coaches. Think about this. They've coached over 500 games. That's a ton That's of amazing. basketball. That's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. That's a ton of basketball, and they've done it. You know, with the exception of you know Tyson starting out at Middle City. His career has been based at Ottawa Glendorf, and look at Kevin Sensible. His has all come there at Spencerville. Gilly, I want to get your thoughts on Colin White. Uh, obviously, we've talked about him a ton. He's a fantastic player. For my money, and, and look, I'm biased. I love the kid. I, I don't think you could find a better candidate for Mr. Basketball. And why I say that is this young man, if they get through and get to the state, will have taken his team to the state level three years in a row. He, and he's he averages, you know, 21 a game. It's just a fantastic player. Sure. The, 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 probably the big knock that Colin's going to have against him is playing Division Three, number one. Yeah. And number two, he is not in a highly metropolitan area where he gets the exposure. Now, we all know about him in this part of the state in West Central Ohio. But, uh, yeah, his numbers, I guarantee, having OSU wrote down on a scholarship, that is certainly not going to hurt him. Tonight's first quarter sponsor is sponsored by Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for 100, 100 years. We are proud to call this home. Gilly, get your seatbelt on, go. buddy. We're ready to go. That's right. We are underway, and looks like uh, we're going to get a foul right off the bat. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think they got Tomasos. They got Grady Tomasos on the foul off the tip. Have you ever seen a foul called off the tip? No. <laughs> no. The, well, you know, Westrick got his hand on it and deflected it, and it was going to be run down by the Bearcats. I'm not sure who it was, but Tommaso's got a lot of body on it, and the official's right on top of it. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is the Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor. Here come the Spencerville Bearcats. This is Evan Osteen's driving to the bucket, and he knocks it in. And it's 2 to nothing on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, and the Bearcats strike first. And again, that's what they want to do. They want to get north and south, and that's exactly what happened. And Osteen got down the lane, 
and hit that runner from about six feet. Colin White, I thought it was a shot. It looked more like a pass. It goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats, and the Bearcat faithful are on their feet already. You know, it looked like a shot, but I think he got in the air, and he realized he needed to go underneath the basket there. Yeah, and he had nowhere to go with it, and unfortunately, that's a turnover for the Titans. They're starting out in that 2-2-1. Well, I'm going to say this, and we said this pregame a little bit. Oh, there's a there's turnover a there. Turnover. Here comes Colin White with the ball. He loses it again. It's picked up by Carter Orr. Here come the Bearcats. They'll go down the right side. Evan Osteen takes it up, misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Westrick, and the big 6'7 senior corrals it, and he gets it over to Grant Schrader, and the Titans will set up shop. Yeah, that's two quick turnovers by the Titans here early on. This is Tomazos back to White. Colin White, top of the key. He'll dribble drive, goes inside to Westrick, and he loses the ball out of bounds. Turnover, Titans back to the Bearcats. A little bit of nerves here. I, this, uh, I do <laughs> believe so. Absolutely. Gilly, this uh, this backcourt for Spencerville, so. this backcourt for Spencerville, sensational with the sense balls and Evan Osteen. They, they take a backseat to no one. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you know OG scouting report wise has played uh, that many guards that can that, that are capable of doing so many things with the basketball. And so you're seeing the nerves here in the first part of this game. A little bit of uh, frustration on both sides, and the arrow goes back to the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Danny Great Holbert, effort. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from a sold-out Lima Senior Gymnasium. Gilly, <laughs> I wish every game was like this. Sold out, 120 degrees. I like to call this a fire marshal game because I'm waiting on the fire marshal. <laughs> I mean, they're in. I mean, well, I'm not gonna say where they're at. But. <laughs> There's Colin White, three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Excuse me, Caden Erford with the three ball attempt. Here come the Bearcats. Here's the fabulous freshman, Will Sensiball. He'll get it over to his brother. Ball gets swatted away, goes back into the backcourt, and they're going to say the ball goes back to the OG Titans. I believe Owen Sensiball thought the ball was his, and he gave up on the play, and it's going to go back to the Titans. Well, I think what I think what they're asking is, did the ball go off of Spencerville's leg? And Yeah, they're going to say okay. it's OG Titans. And that's a turnover on Spencerville, so that's two early ones on them. Gilly, that's really good uh, officiating work there as they got together to sort that one out and make that happen. Well, all three of them have been to the big dance, the state tournament, so we got three good guys here that's, that's going to officiate this game and, and call it with integrity and high character. Here's Caden Erford. He'll dribble drive and get it back to Tomazos. Tomazos, a little foul line jumper. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's corralled by Carter Orr as he brings it out. And here come the Bearcats down the left side. Evan Osting, a little spin move right there. Thought about taking it back up, but Colin White, Johnny on the spot for defense. And here come the Bearcats. And Osting's oh, going to travel. They yeah. for a walk. They wanted to pick and roll with Orr. And they didn't. They couldn't get on the same page right there, and Osteen got caught with the walk. Our three-point sponsor today is Dale's Concrete. Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipsing for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. More turnovers and points right now, partner. <laughs> I was going to say, and that'll that'll solve itself out. Westry gets a rebound or gets the ball. Excuse me, a loose ball, and he scores. And the Titans are on the board, two-two on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Look, partner, we, we've talked about Dave Westrick a lot. He's healthy now. There's a steal by the Titans, and we're going to get a foul, and the foul's going to go against Carter Orr. Dave Westrick is healthy now. That's a big body to have in there for the Titans. Oh, sure is. Yeah, because he occupies so much space, and he did he did see minutes last year, partner, in the state tournament. Yes, yes. Behind Theo Mag. Theo Mag was a really special yes, ball player. Yeah. Yeah, he was here the other night, yeah. actually. He's uh, extending his career playing at High Northern University. There's Colin White with a little fadeaway, and it's good. Colin White shows you how smooth he is, and it's 4-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Tightens up. Here comes the 2-2-1. I really like how they leave a big behind him on that press breaker. There's Soto with the My break. goodness, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Carter Sutoff flushes it home, and it's 4-4 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, he was not going to let Wester get a piece of that one. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> oh, it was just, a, that's what I'm that saying. That was quick, that was quick. Well, that's, that's the key. He is the dog going quick off his feet. Here come the Titans, 4.48 to go here in the first quarter. Colin White gets it inside to Westrick, and Westrick, the ball gets knocked over, and they're going to say Owen Sensabaugh came down on the arms of Dave Westrick, and Dave Westrick will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw yeah, line. Here's a Matt's heating and cooling replay. Yeah, he got him across the arm. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So Dave Westrick will go to the line on the season. 
Dave's not shot a lot of free throws because Dave's not played a lot of basketball. No, he's, he's not played a <laughs> yeah. lot of basketball, but you know what? It's a great time to get him back and get him as healthy as he possibly could be to play in this game. And you can see early on he has made some big plays for them at both ends of the court. Today's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. So 5-4 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. The Titans lead by one. They're going to stay with that pressure, and they throw it away. And Colin oh. White says, if you can dunk it, I can dunk it. And Colin White flushes it home, and it's 7-4 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. A lot of pressure on that young freshman as they get it across, and they're going to get White on the foul. I Colin, get yeah. him from behind. I think you're right. Colin White slapped the ball from behind. And Coach Sensabaugh is telling his kids, you got to reverse the ball, fellas. you got to reverse the ball. Do you like it when they leave a big behind that press breaker, Gilly? Well, here's my biggest fear. You know what? If you're having problems getting the basketball at three-quarter court, you know, getting it in, sure. what's it going to be like in the half-court set if, if OG decides to start pressing the basketball? There's a steal. Grant Schrader with a steal. Goes up the right side, takes it in, and he scores. Grant Schrader shows you the quickness there from the senior guard as he knocks it in, and it's 9-4 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, and the Titans are threatening to run away with this one. This is Evan Osting on the right side. Little 12-foot jumper, and it's good. Evan Osting calms the seas, Gilly, and he knocks it in, and it's 9-6 Titans on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well, we watched him the other night. The senior stepped up in the first quarter and earned the, the uh, player of the game because of his efforts, and he's starting right out again like he did in the semifinal. Alex Wagner in the game now, the 6'2 senior guard, averages 5.4 a game. Shot goes up, rebound comes down to Carter Sutoff. And we've talked about it for a long time. Carter Sutoff is an elite rebounder, and he really does a nice job on the boards. Yeah, I really like the matchup that they have with uh, Sutoff and Erford. Now they switched off on the ball screen or the handoffs. Now they've got Colin White guarding Sutoff. Sutoff gets it into Evan, or excuse me, into Sensabaugh, and they turn the ball over. Here come the Titans. This is Colin White with the ball down the middle of the floor. Kicks it back out to Caden Erford. They'll go back. Alex Wagner. 3.05 to go here in a jam-packed, sold-out Lima Senior High School. The Ottawa Glandorf Titans lead 9-6. This is Tomazos. Little dribble drive to the right side. Takes it up. Misses a shot. Rebound to Carter Orr. Here comes Will Sensabaugh. The freshman, he'll go to the middle. He's going to take it up. And he scores. Will Sensum, are you kidding me, Gilly? Well, that's, My that's, goodness. That's the quickness and the split right down the gut and found the seam to the bucket and got it up there with the left hand and rolled it over the rim. The fabulous freshman closes the gap at 9-8 on the ultimate scoreboard. Here come the Titans. 2.28 to go here in the first quarter. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School. Colin White will get it at the foul line. A little fadeaway jumper, and it's good. Colin White as smooth as the skin on a grape. 11-8. White's got six on the afternoon. I think they got Wagner right there. And they're going to they're gonna play enough guys, Gilly, that those fouls aren't going to be a problem for them. No. They'll, they'll go well, and they're, gonna, they're yeah. going to use the five-foul rule of the, sure. of the half now, that new rule implemented this year. There comes, I believe, Smith in. Grady Smith for Spencerville going to get. Grady Smith does a great Owen job Sensible. coming off the bench for them, as does Michael Woods. They've got a really good cast of characters on that bench. Really like the way Evan Osting's playing right now for Spencerville, Gilly. Really being aggressive and oh, doing all he can. Here comes the run and jump, partner. Uh, they're going to get him in the corner there. They'll get it over to Smith. Smith, little foul line jumper, and it's good. Grady Smith knocks in the jumper, and it's 11 to 10 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And the Spencerville Bearcats say, no, today you're not going to run away with this one. Really good job rotating back to the basketball at the high post area. Once you get it there, you're either going to have an opportunity or a dump And off. Colin White knocks in another Dales concrete three. Gilly, that was from the volleyball line. White's got nine on the 14, 14-10 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well, he's wearing number 22. Who else does that? <laughs> Women's college basketball. <laughs> that was my number in high school, Gilly, 22. Okay. <laughs> I never did that. Okay. <laughs> we didn't have a three-point line. Here's Evan Osting. Goes up to the left side, and he's going to get foul, and I believe they're going to get Caden Erford on the foul. Okay, here's a match. Keep heating and cooling replay right here. Great take right there to the rim by Osting. And you're going to have to do that against this OG defense, Gilly. You're going to have to get him in foul trouble and get to the line. Well, that's what they do. They, you know, they want to they want to get north and south. So Evan Osting knocks in the first one from the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Piers Westrick's going to come back in. 
Evan Osting has five to lead the Bearcats already. It's 14 to 11 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Ross Mag gonna take a seat for the Titans. Owen Sensible at the scores table. Second one on the way, and it's good. So Owen Sensible will come in, and he will give Evan Ostings a break. And I like the game so far for Evan Ostings as he's got six to lead the Bearcats. Kate Nerford will bring the ball down. Ottawa Glandorf won this game last year 78-51 in an absolute runaway. And they went on to the become the state runner-up and Colin White standing alone. And I'm telling you, Gilly, you do that, and he's going to do that to you all night. And Colin White's got 12, and it's 17-12. Well, if there was anybody in the gymnasium that was shocked, it was him. There was nobody within 10 feet. Yeah, Coach Sensiball was fired up after that shot. They left him completely alone, and the pressure of the Titans is really causing Spencerville some problems now. Here comes Will Sensiball. He's going to go in, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Spencerville. You see the quickness from Will mm. Sensiball, and he's not afraid to go in amongst the trees, Gilly. No, he's fearless. Will Sensiball. 5'10", freshman averages 10.1 a game. He's not a freshman anymore, Gilly. We're, no. we're, we're way past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's beyond his years right now. So Owen Sensiball will trigger the ball out underneath their basket. I love to watch these out-of-bounds plays. I love to watch the screens and how they do it. And they're just going to go up top to Carter Orr. And Carter Orr will take a jumper. And it's good. Carter Orr, the 6'4 junior. Man. Absolutely. You get a lot of points out of him. You got success on that team. And it's 17-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So the Titans will look to me, Gilly, like they're going to hold for the last shot of that quarter. As Colin White is guarded out top by Carter Orr. That's, get it what, that's what Coach Sensiball is telling them defensively. Just stay in. Don't panic. Be curious if they send two right here. Yeah, I was going to say. If I he wanted, gets yeah. the ball back. We saw that the other night. Made him give the basketball up. We're down to the 10-second mark. Colin White goes out to the yeah, Spartan here it head. Is. Picks up the ball. Gets it over to West Street. West Street goes back to Erford. Erford's going to dribble drive right side. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Set off with the rebound. And that's how the first quarter ends. After one quarter of play from Lima Senior High School, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans lead the Spencerville Bearcats 17-14. We'll have second quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where after one quarter of play, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans lead the Spencerville Bearcats 17-14. Today's instant replay sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Our second quarter sponsor is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for 100 years, we are proud to call this home. Gilly, a three-point lead for the Titans. What's the difference so far? My opinion. That's what I it's asked a you. Three point, <laughs> it's a three-point game, and that's with seven turnovers for, right, for right. Spencerville. Right, right, yeah. You know, OG had the three early ones. They did a much better job. But I think those seven turnovers, you know, you don't turn the basketball over. You don't give extra opportunities to Ottawa Glendorf, and you're only down three points. So, you, so you're saying basically, hey, they're in good shape even though they had to Just got to yeah. take care of the basketball. Absolutely. So here we go, starting the second quarter here at Lima Senior High School. Danny Holbrook and Darren Gilly Gilbert sold out Lima Senior Gymnasium. Oh, and Sensiball with went a beautiful. Right Colin White. He went to the right side, switched hands, and goes up with the left, and he scores to make it 17 16 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Great take right there by the young man. Ripped it across his body and took it right to the rim. Here comes Schrader. He'll go foul line, gets it back to Erford. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Caden Erford, the senior sharpshooter, knocks in. Another Dale's Concrete three, and it's 2016 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Big shot right there by that young man, number 55 on the year. And Sensiball's going to slice through, gets it into Sutoff, and Sutoff scores. Carter Sutoff knocks in the little layup, and it's 2018, and the Bearcats aren't going away, Gilly. Well, where did it start? Dribble penetration. Westrick's coming up to the high post. They're going to run the ball through him this quarter, it seems like to me, with two of them back-to-back. -back. Here's Tomazos with a jumper, goes off the mark, rebound comes down to Westry. He throws it right into the arms of Carter Orr, and Carter Orr is going to bring it down the floor. Good play there by Orr. 
They Heads always up. tell you, they always tell you to throw it down the field. Throw it down the, the, the court, right, Gilly? Don't throw it on anybody underneath it. Here's Owen Sensible. Long three. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's oh. grabbed by Schrader. Schrader oh, gets it okay. out to Yeah, he, he went, went down, down hard. hard. Set up went down hard. Head. Colin White tries to go into Westry, and it's going to go back to the Spencerville Bearcats. He had the right play. Westrick was going on the left side, but he just misses these arms and it goes out of bounds. Well, that's one of those where Dave's got to shorten the angle up instead of on the backside block. If he flashes hard to the ball side block, he makes that catch and gets the finish and beats the defender to the basketball. Our timeout sponsor tonight, the Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Timeout sponsor, the Metzger Financial Services. Here comes Owen Sensabaugh as he's double teamed on the left side of the court. Kicks it inside to Orr. Orr get a little turnaround. Goes into Sutoff. Sutoff loses it. Goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the Bearcats. Good job with the deflection by Schrader inside. Ottawa Glandorf, Gilly, so disciplined on their defensive attacks, and they know exactly where to go, where to double team. They really take away those passing those passing routes. And well, the big thing they've got to do is they've got to stop the dribble penetration. Nice back screen. Sut off with a bucket. Evan Osting finds him coming off that back screen on the baseline, and it's 20-20 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, <laughs> and they're on their feet here in Spencerville. And I'm going to have to look at the monitor here, Gilly. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> little, watch a little monitor action. <laughs> so here comes Colin White. He'll go off of it. He go to the foul line, little foul line jumper, and it's good. Colin White says, I can settle you folks down as he knocks it in. Colin White's got 14, Gilly, and he came to play today. 5.45 yep, to go here. There's one person that's going to put you in your seats. It's going to be Mr. White. <laughs> Colin White will do it every time. Or attempt to. Absolutely. What a matchup up top here with Will Sensabaugh and Grant Schrader. What a matchup watching those two. And he'll pass him off to Dave Westrick. Here comes Sensabaugh, goes in the middle, takes it up, and he knocks it in, Will Sensabaugh! Are you kidding me, Well, Kelly? he got into the lane, he got the mismatch he wanted. He got a big on him, and he got by him and took it right to the rack. There's Erford with a spin, gets it into Westrick. Westrick, little half hook, and off the mark. Rebound comes down to Sensabaugh. Here come the Bearcats down the right side. 5.07 to play. This is Owen Sensabaugh, guarded up top by Erford. Gets it over to Will Sensball. Will Sensball says three line, and he misses everything on that one. Maybe a little, looks like maybe Colin White had touched it, I thought. We'll have to take a look on our instant replay. But the Spencerville coaching staff says that ball was deflected. Now let's he, take, I was going to see if we can get a replay on that one. and That's okay. And there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 4.57 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOS. No, that ball was not. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So, Gilly, we're in the middle of the second quarter. Nothing's been solved. We're knotted at 22. We're knotted at 22, and it's getting hotter and hotter in there. I told you. You know what I'm saying? I it's told you to wear a tank top. Uh -huh. I told you. Tank top and flip flops and, and Bermuda shorts. shorts right? That's right. Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Look, we said it couldn't be any more crowded or hotter than it was last year in the district final. I was wrong. It's so hot in here. You're it's wrong. It's so crowded, and I love it. I love it. I do too. <laughs> oh, so here come the Titans with 4.57 to go, and we're all knotted at 22. This is Tomazos with the ball, gets it over. Little dribble drive there by Schrader. And he throws the ball away, and Carter Orr gets the steal, brings it down, finds a streaking sense of ball to the rim, and he scores. And the Spencerville Bearcats have a 24 22 lead on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, that's a big pass right there by Orr. And a great catch and finish in transition. As soon, yeah, as soon as Carter Orr got the, the loose ball. Owen Sensabaugh took off and made it down the right side, and we've got a foul on the floor. And it looks like that's going to be on Will Sensabaugh. That's his first. Yeah, real close to a walk, but I think the, the, the call was, was a block. Coach Sensabaugh not happy with that call. You're right. It, it, good defensive pressure by the Bearcats. Titans will trigger the ball in underneath their basket. 
Dribble drive on the baseline. Shot goes up. That shot's missed. I think that was Fortman. Another Brody Fortman with the miss. Gets Give it back him good out. minutes the other night in that semifinal game. Get it back to set off. Set off. Oh, and Sensabaugh from the right side. It's off the mark. It goes out of bounds. Let's go back to Spencerville. Colin White had it, and Carter Orr and him kind of collided a little bit, and it goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the Bearcats. Well, it makes you wonder how much that tape is influencing his ability to hang on to the basketball. Could be. He had it taped up pretty heavy. Looks appears to be the right thumb area. They'll get the ball to back to Sensiball. Sensiball finds Evan Osteen. Evan Osteen wanted to drive to the left side. Going to kick it back out to Will Sensiball. They'll go back into setoff. Setoff is being pressured big time. He turns, and they're going to get a foul. And that was a nice, smart move by Carter Setoff because he had uh, he had Alex Wagner in a good position, and he just turned to the middle, and then that's when Colin White came in. Well, he made his mind up. If, you're, if I'm going to the rim, you're going with right, me. Right, right. That's a great he, move. He put that shoulder into him and created that, that foul with his uh, – High basketball IQ. So they'll take Alex Wagner out of the game and bring in Dave Westrick. And now a lot of size on the floor right now for the Titans with Erford White. And there's a back cut by Sensabaugh, and he scores. Oh, and Sensabaugh with a nifty reverse layup. And the Spencerville Bearcats lead 26-22 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, and that's twice he's got behind um, Colin White. This is White on top of the Spartan head, guarded by Carter Orr. Falls down. Excuse me, that was Car excuse me, Caden Erford. White grabs the loose ball. He'll go foul line, and it's stolen by Will Sensabaugh. Here comes Sensabaugh down the right side, and he scores. And it's 28-22 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, and there's a timeout on the floor. With 3.17 to go, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsing for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. So no need for the three ball today, Gilly, because the outlet passes, the pressure on defense, and getting to the rim is the name of the game. Well, it's the turnover situation, and they're taking advantage of it, of OG's turnovers, two in this second quarter. Even though they're two, they both led to baskets. Gilly, I am just so impressed with the guard play from Spencerville right now. They're handling the pressure. They've had a few turnovers, don't get me wrong, but they're handling this pressure of the Titans. A and the Titans will figure it out. Trust me, they're the too good of a oh team. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. why Tyson took the timeout. Coach sure. McLaughlin regrouped the troops. So 3.17 to go until half here. Spencerville leads 28-22. From a sold-out Lima Senior Gymnasium, a trip to the regional semifinals is on the line here as these teams battle for a district crown. Here's Tomazos as he goes foul line. And that ball was almost stolen by Owen Sensible. He had Caden Erford in the corner, and you saw Erford. He was just licking his chops waiting for that ball. Well, they run a little flare action, and Owen Sensible read the flare and got the deflection. He's going to take a break. Smith's in for Owen Sensible, going to give him a... You got to figure 30 seconds to one I was going to say, not break. very long, not yeah, very long. It's not yeah. going to be very long. So Grady Smith is a very good role player for this team. They'll go inside to White. White finds a cutting. Oh, and the ball gets thrown away here. Go back into Erford. Gets in the middle. Little turnaround. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Westrick. Westrick throws it back up. Misses the shot. Colin White with the rebound. And he puts it back up. And he's fouled. You knew it was going to happen. You give him too many chances. And that's what they do. Colin White scores. And it's 28-24 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Yeah. Between him and Westrick, they had their mind made up. Well, that it's, they were going to get it. And they were going to get that thing into the basket. Yeah, it started with Brody Fortman who missed the shot. Then it went to Dave Westry, and then Colin White gets it in. And you knew with bodies banging, there was going to be a foul sometime. So Colin White, who has 16 on the afternoon, will go to the line, the Lee's famous recipe free throw line, for a chance at an old-fashioned three with 2.41 to go. And he knocks it in. Guess White's got 17. <laughs> well, Owen Sensible. Owen Sensible's back in. What him, do you yeah. get, 15 get, seconds? Yeah, get him a drink of water. Oh, big and play Will there. Sensible loses the ball. And they're going to say a held ball, and it's going to go back to OG. So a little bit of pressure there on the freshman. And there you see the length and the size of Ottawa Glandorf. Well, he had every, you know, he had every intention. Uh, the young 
sensible to split the trap. The problem was, I don't know if he was just not strong enough with it or if he didn't get his foot completely through, but uh, ended up on the floor and had a held ball as a result. So 2.31 to go. Spencer Village 28-25. This is Colin White, guarded by Evan Osting, and it's stolen by Carter Orr. Here comes Osting down the middle of the floor. He'll bring it to the foul and take it straight up, and he's fouled, and they're going to get Cade Nerford on the foul. Evan Osting will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line for two shots. Yeah, heck of a move right here by Osting. He had his mind made up to get to the 10, drew the foul on Erford, his second. So Evan Osting's got six on the night. He's got a chance to add to that total at 28-25, and the first one is up, and it is off the mark. Grady Smith will check back in the game for the Bearcats, and looks like Will Sensabaugh is on the bench, and it looks like he's got a bloody nose maybe. He's got uh, holding a rag on his nose. Let's hope he's okay. Second one's up, and it's good. Makes it 29-25 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Stick around after the game as we'll have a Stolly Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. 2.08 to go here from Lima Senior High School. This is Colin White as he splits the double team. Foul line jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down and it's corralled by Sutoff. And he gets it out to Evan Ostings who will bring it down the right side. Carter Sutoff is really good at rebounding. That's what he does really, really good. They'll go back inside. Spin move by Carter Orr, and he is clamped down by Grant Schrader. Yeah, Schrader did a really good job just walling up, staying down. Evan Osting off the mark with his Dale's Concrete 3 as he misses that one. Here comes the Titans with 1.35 to go. Colin White will go foul line, kick it out to Schrader, and he'll bring it back up. He'll go dribble drive to the foul line. Back over to Brody Fortman. Brody Fortman, the 6'4 sophomore guard. Sometimes we forget the size of Brody Fortman, 6'4. Yeah, he adds some big yeah. kid when he, Absolutely. You know, <laughs> when he grows yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah. When he grows into his body. <laughs> Westrick out top. Colin White, three ball from the top of the key. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Carter Orr. The 6'4 junior brings it in, and he gets it out to Sensible to bring it down the floor. Good job there running that little flex action offense, but a much better job defensively with the box out. Limited them to one shot and done. There's Owen Sensible guarded by Westrick out top. Takes it inside and misses the little runner. Goes out top and it's grabbed by Carter Orr. Carter Orr three land from the left side. Off the mark, rebound comes down. Here comes Colin White. Spencerville leads 29-25 with 35 seconds to go here until halftime. So Colin White brings it. I thought they shot that one a little early, Gilly, in the, in the set up 29-25. But, hey, look, I'm not a coach, so. You know what? They've got the three po or four-point lead. Excuse me, can't even add. <laughs> but it's just a simple fact that they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Sure, absolutely. So Colin White with the ball. We're at the 15-second mark. We're down to 10 seconds. Tomazos brings the ball up the top. Gets it over to Westrick. Westrick finds White. White's going to be held by Sensabaugh. Long three ball, and it's off the mark. And we're going to get a foul on the floor. I think on the rebound, they may have got Sud off. It looks like it appears to be one of the bigs inside. I think you're right. I'm trying to get a look. It's Carter Orr okay, on the that's, foul. That's, that's his second. That could be big going into the half. And one-tenth of a second, Gilly, unless it's a tip. Well, I don't not believe. even that. The, the rule states .3. So Tomazos will inbounds and he'll just throw it up in front and it's deflected by Orr. And that's how the halftime ends. After one half of play, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Ottawa Glendorf Titans 29-25. We'll be back after these messages, talk a little bit of halftime strategy. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where it's halftime, and the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Ottawa Glendorf Titans 29-25. Our halftime adjustment sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Gilly, let's take a look for the adjustments for the leading Spencerville Bearcats. Well, I think it all starts with they took care of the basketball there in the second quarter. Seven early turnovers in the 
first quarter, two in the second. I've got them unofficially with nine. Enforced OG into three more, giving them six. But the three turnovers that OG had lead into transition baskets for Spenceville. They're doing what they need to do, and that's get deflections and push the basketball and get the basketball north and south in the lane. And when they do that, they put 29 on the board. They got to feel good about themselves. You know, we both questioned that shot there with about 38 seconds to go. But when you're up forward playing with a lot of confidence and a little extra hop in your step, yeah. that very easily could have went in. Gilly, when we come back, we'll take a look at the Ottawa Glendorf Titans to see what they need to do to get back in this game. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSA. Welcome back to Lima Senior, our halftime adjustment sponsor, the State Bank. For all your banking and financial services needs, visit your statebank.com. Remember, FDIC equal housing lender. Gilly, we already talked about Spencerville for out of Glendorf, down four. Are you are you kind of, uh, did you expect this? Did you think they'd be down at halftime? What's your thoughts? What do they got to do to get back in this one? Well, we both knew coming in that this was not going to be the same result as last sure, year. Sure, sure. And... The situation that is occurring right now is they've got one guy scoring, and that's White with 17. They've got to get some point production from the other spots. You know, Erford's got those two fouls. He's got to be very careful now. Tomasos is shooting the basketball, but he is he, he's not made anything so far, and it's going to take more than Colin to get it done right here, and it's going to start at the defensive end, and then you got to take the defensive end. And, and create some turnover opportunities like they did in the first quarter. But four points is, is nothing. They've been there, and uh, it's going to be a great, great second half, partner. It's 29-25. The Spencerville Bearcats lead the Ottawa Glendorf Titans after one half of play. When we come back, we'll have second half action right here on WOS 10. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where we're just about ready to start the third quarter of play. Today's quarter sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. So, Gilly, the Bearcats lead 29-25. you got to believe, Gilly, that OG's going to keep that pressure up. It's, You know what? It's going to be a very minimal conversation by both coaches in the locker room they're both given the effort they just got to clean up a few things at the defensive end of the floor but you know if you're spencerville the, you got to believe these first four minutes are huge well Gil, you, you look at that score yeah you look at that scoreboard and it is littered with bearcats who have scored and then you go over to og and it's been mostly colin white it's been mostly colin white and you got to be a little concerned with Erfurt's, you know having those two sure fouls. that is a big concern but uh you know GT can get started. We know what Wagner's capable of doing. You know, David on the glass, Colin being Colin. We're a long way from deciding this game. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Our timeout sponsors are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So here we go, partner. Third quarter underway. The Bearcats lead 29-25 and stoppage of play here for a clock malfunction, it looks like. Boy, these officials have been on it, Gilly. They really have. And let's see what they're saying. Are they saying they gave the ball to Spencerville and they should have gave it to OG, I believe? No? No, it's no. A, it was a uh, clock, or I, I wondered clock, <laughs> clock malfunction. Well, Coach Sensible had a smile on his face, and I just thought, I wonder if he got away with one there. So they'll get it into Evan Ost. And it is, uh, I, I think they've pr brought more people in, Gilly, because there's a lot. <laughs> it seems like there are a lot more people in here. So here come the Bearcats. This is Sensabaugh, guarded by Colin White. Oh. Owen Sensabaugh dribble drives right side, takes it up, and it's blocked. And the ball gets taken away by Colin White. Here come the Titans. They'll get it over to Tomazos. Tomazos on the right side, gets it back to Erford, takes it inside, and he scores. Caden Erford. The 6'4 senior slices to the basket, and it's 29-27 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well, it all started with Colin White defensively vertical, 
and then the running of the floor by the Titans. Three ball from Sensabaugh, and it's good. Will Sensabaugh, the Dales concrete three, and Big it's 32-27. Bearcat freshman. Boy, he didn't hesitate, Gilly. He let that fly. Here's Grant, or excuse me, Schrader on the dribble drive on the baseline. Kicks it back out to White. 7.03 to go. Titans down 32-27. Spencerville with the lead. This is Schrader. Gets it over to Westrick. Trying to find Colin White or Erford cutting to the basket. This is Tomazo's dribble drive baseline. He's going to try to take it in. Gets it into Westrick. Westrick takes it in and scores. Dave Westrick using that big frame as he gets good position and he scores and it's 32 29 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well, GT started it all with the dribble drive. Saw the double team coming. Flipped a little sideways pass. David with a big catch and a big finish. And they're going to get the foul will go against Grant Schrader. That's his first. And, boy, they broke that containment really. you got to believe they drew it up, and that's exactly how Coach Sensiball wants it ran. Oh, yeah. If that would be one area of concern, you know, would be the, the handling of the pressure, going over press breakers and execution on how to break it and just being patient. They get it inside the set off and misses the – Point blank jumper, Carter Sutoff, little one-handed throw up there, and he misses everything. Here come the Titans down 32-29. Boy, that's a big bucket there they could have had. This is Colin White up top, guarded by Osteen. Kick it out. This is Tomazos. GT with the dribble, goes to the foul line, shot goes up. It's off the mark. Carter Sutoff pulls it down, but it gets thrown around, and it goes back to Owen Sensabaugh. And yeah, that's a good look by GT. That's a wide open elbow jumper, just a little bit too strong. 5.50 to go here in the third quarter. Owen Sensabaugh with the ball. He's got eight to lead the Bearcats. The super sophomore has played a really good floor game tonight. He'll go right side to Osting. Osting's going to dribble drive, take it up, and he misses the shot. And two point blank shots that are missed by the Bearcats. Here comes Erford and the Titans, and they throw it out of bounds. Unforced turnovers, Gilly, the killer of teams. Yeah, that one right there, that is an unforced turnover by the Titans. Give them seven in the contest. Last year, this Ottawa Glendorf Titan team finished 25 and four, lost in the state final. The Bearcats were 21 and three, and they lost in the district finals to this Ottawa Glendorf Titan squad. So a lot of storyline on the line here for both these teams. They'll go inside to Sutoff. Sutoff gets position on Westrick, puts it up, and he scores. Carter Sutoff. You get deep down there like that, Gilly, and that's hard to stop. Well, at his size and his length, he's so explosive. And he just took it right over the six foot seven inch Westrick, high and soft, and got the got the roll. Here comes Colin White. He gets a screen from Erford up top, and he gets another screen from Westrick. He'll dribble drive foul line, and they're gonna get Sensabaugh or Sutoff. Let's see who they get on the foul. And it looks like they're going to get Carter set off on the foul. And that's his second. So the 6'6 senior gets his second foul with 4.50 to go here in the third quarter. And GT, Grady Tomazos, will trigger the ball underneath their basket. Get it into Erford. Three ball from the left side. And it's off the mark. Rebound comes down. White tried to tip it out. And Carter Sutoff was behind him. Grabbed the ball. And the Bearcats will bring it down with 4.41 to go. And they're up 34-29. Oh, and Sensiball, three ball from the left side, off the mark, rebound comes down to Carter Orr. He's going to spin around, take it up, and he misses the shot. Kind of off balance there, Gilly, but a nice effort nonetheless. Well, you you know, you can't fault the defense by Erford because he walled up directly. You know, it's one of those where Orr's just got to get his feet underneath him and play just a little bit strong with the basketball, just like he did when he went out for the offensive rebound sure, there and absolutely. contained it. He's just got to be... Get his feet underneath him and be a little stronger. 4.19 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And they throw the ball away. Caden Erford just lost it. He tried to lob it into Colin White, and he short-armed it, and it comes back to the Bearcats. They get the ball with 4.08 to go, up 34-29 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, they were trying to get the two seniors on one side of the floor to get a post up to get it to White. This is Carter Orr, a little spin move, takes it up, and he scores. Carter Orr, the 6'4 junior, says, I'm going to the rim. He's got four on the night, and the Bearcats lead 36-29, and the Titans will take a timeout with 3.52 to go. The Spencerville Bearcats have up their lead to 36-29. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN.
Welcome back to Lima Senior with 3.52 to go. The Spencerville Americans lead 36-29 over the OG Titans. Our instant replay sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Gilly, Spencerville's playing a heck of a third quarter so far. They are playing a heck of a, you know, third quarter, but they stopped OG's run. OG come right out and took a shot at him and, and Spencerville responded and Will hit that big three. Here's Colin White, he gets a handoff from Caden Erford, loses the ball but gets it back. He's gonna get another screen from Erford. Evan Osting will pick him up. They'll swing it around to Brody Fortman, the 6'4 sophomore. They'll get it back to White with 3.35 to go. White's gonna dribble drive, foul line jumper and he's gonna be fouled by Evan Osting and the Spencerville crowd, they didn't like that call. And we'll see that here on the match heating and cooling instant replay. I think Boy, they, not a lot of contact there. Well, I think what they're, they're worried about is the, the forearm into the hip area. Yes, yeah, yeah. So Colin White will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line, Lee's Famous Recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken, home style happens here. Colin White knocks in the first one. Gilly, he's got 18. That's his first bucket of the second half, and the Bearcats lead 36-30 with 3.31 to go. You know, and for him, it's a quiet 18. Yes, it is. Second one goes, and he's got 19, and he closes the gap to 36-31 with 3.31 to go. Okay. So a little bit of pressure there, and the Bearcats break the pressure. They, won to, they went to a little diamond and one right there, but a great job breaking it. I think they got Fortman with a hand check. I believe they did, and a sarcastic cheer from the Bearcats faithful. <laughs> Oh, uh, Gilly, here's the sad part about this game. One of these fantastic teams is not going on any farther, and that makes me sad because both of these are quality teams. Oh, both of these teams, <laughs> yeah, are regional caliber teams, oh, if, my not, goodness. if not further. So here comes Sensabaugh. He gets it into Carter Orr. Orr is guarded by Fortman. They'll swing it over to Osting. Osting goes set off. Sutoff tries to turn back around. Skips it to Owen Sensabaugh. Three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound to Sutoff. Sutoff gets it knocked out of his hands, and it goes to Carter Orr. They'll go back to Osting. Osting goes Will Sensabaugh into Owen. Little spin move, turnaround jumper. It's off the mark. Here come the Titans. Colin White with a rebound down the right side. 2.54 to go. He's going to take it all the way in, and he loses the ball. Carter Orr strips him from the ball, and he gets it over to Will Sensabaugh, and everything going Spencerville's way right now. They'll regroup and set back up the offense with 2.40 to go here. They lead 36-31. Yeah, Colin grabbing that right thumb area. Coach Sensabaugh is telling his kids, we're going to try to get the ball into Sutoff on the block as he's guarded by Fortman. Fortman chesting him up. Little spin move by Sutoff, and he misses the shot. Sutoff misses the shot. White brings it down the floor. He's going to take it coast to coast, and he loses it, and there's going to be a foul, and they're going to send Colin White to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Yeah, Colin with a great bust-out dribble here, going right to the rack with it. I think they got Evan Osting on the slap. That's the case. That's his second. Colin White's going to the line to shoot two with 2.19 to go here in the third quarter. First one's on the way, and it's good. Colin White's got 20 to lead all scores tonight, and it's 36-32 with 2.19 to go. Yeah, I really think, you know, he's irritated that right hand. He's he's grabbing it quite a bit, and even on the push-out dribble, saw that. Yeah. he's trying to, to use the left hand more so. Second one's on the way, and it's good. Closes the gap to 36-33 with 2.19 to go. Here comes the diamond press. Here comes press. the diamond press. You're exactly right, Gilly. They get it over to Sensabaugh, and Spencerville is going to take a timeout. With 2.15 to go, the Spencerville Bearcats lead 36-33. We'll have further action right after these messages. Welcome back to a sold-out Lima Senior Gymnasium. Check out our highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award on the WSN YouTube page. Stolly Insurance is our Hustle Award winner sponsor. So, Gilly, 36. Look, you look at both of these teams, Gilly, and we talked about it earlier. Spencerville averages 61 a game. OG averages 65 a game. And here we sit at 33-36. We didn't talk about the quality of defense both these schools play. Absolutely. I mean, they get, and here we go. <laughs> You know what? It's, it's like a wave in here. I now. know, right? We're in the third quarter with 2.15 to go, and now we're going to monitor watch again. <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay. Because our camera crew is the best in the state here. They'll double-team the ball. They'll swing it back around to Sensabaugh. Gets it back over to younger Will Sensabaugh. 
He tries to break containment, as he does, and he gets across the Spartan head. Here comes Owen Sensible, dribble drive right side, and he misses his shot. Rebound comes down, and it's fought for, and it's brought down by Wagner, and he gets it over to Colin White in the middle of the floor. He, got, he gets a Fortman to the bucket, and it's blocked by Sutoff. Carter Sutoff with a big-time block. Here come the Bearcats, 149 to go in the third quarter. They lead 36-33. That athleticism right there and explosiveness at the defensive end. Big play by Sutoff. There's Stensabaugh, and they're going to get Wagner on the foul. Yeah, I think they're going to get him on a hand check here. Sure right. did. Got sure him on a did. hand check. Owen Sensiball going north and south, does what he does best, and he's either going to go to the rim with it or he's going to kick it out. So Owen Sensiball will trigger the ball in, and he finds Carter Orr, and he loses the ball, but he gets it back, and he throws up the shot, and Colin White gets the rebound. He's bringing it down coast to coast. Here comes White, and they're going to get a foul on Will Sensiball. Yeah, that's one of those Carters just got to get his feet underneath him again, and... Good job by Colin White attacking the rim, you know, leaving Will Sensible no choice but to reach in there, committing his second foul. White going back to the charity stripe for two more at 129 to go here in the third quarter. Can trim this thing to a single point. And he knocks it in, makes it 36-34 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Colin White has 21 to lead all scorers. That young man comes into this game averaging 24 a game, and the second one goes. He's got 22, and it's 36-35. Yeah. we got a one-point game in the district finals in a sold-out Lima Senior Gymnasium. This place is rocking. Well, Coach McLaughlin's over there throwing the arms up, wants the fans to get involved. And That's the, exactly what's happening. Spencerville Bearcats lose the ball out of bounds, and the pressure from the Titans is starting to bother the Bearcats. We'll see what happens here with 1.21 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, that, that changing up of the defense, that's the first turnover by the Bearcats in the third quarter. Give them 10 for the game, but what a huge turnover. Colin White will bring it down for the Titans. He'll bring it across. This is White guarded by Evan Osting. 1.17 to go. Schrader with the ball on the right side. He gets it back to Wagner. We're at 1-0-1 to go here in the third quarter. This is White. Dribble drive foul line. He's going to take it in. Gets it over to Wagner. Wagner, three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Kate Nerford corrals it. Takes it back up. Oh, finds a pass. streaking Wagner. And he scores. Excuse me. That is that, uh, that was Schrader, Schrader with I the believe, bucket. Yeah. And the Titans lead 37-36. And Sensabaugh is going to be fouled on the drive. Well, you see Grant Schrader sneaking back around there. Here's the foul. And a good call here as he went inside. Looks like they're going to get Wagner on the foul. Well, and another thing is OG's decided to go small here. They've got Ross Mag down inside matching up. 41 seconds to go here. Spencerville down 36-37. OG's first lead of the second half. And they'll get it into Evan Osting. Osting get it into Carter Orr. Find oh, Sutoff, nice that job cut. there by Carter Sutoff. And the Bearcats take back the lead at 38-37 with 30 seconds to go. And that's twice that they've caught OG napping right there on out-of-bounds play where they run that little flex action along the baseline. And the Titans are going to hold for the final shot of the third quarter, down 38-37. Barner, buckle up. This fourth quarter is going to be fantastic. Yeah, uh, you use fantastic and I'll use dandy. Oh, well, there you go. That Fantastic and dandy. Here come the Titans. This is Schrader with the ball up top. Gets it over to Erford. Erford dribble drives. He's bottled up by two Bearcats. Takes the shot. It goes off the mark, and the rebound comes down. And that's how the third quarter ends. After three quarters of play from Lima Senior Gymnasium, 38-37, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Welcome back to a jam-packed, sold-out Lima Senior High School. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And our fourth quarter sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. So, Kelly, we're three quarters of play. We got a one-point lead. We got a 
sold out gymnasium, and nobody knows who's going to the region. And our monitor is <laughs> going to be our friend. <laughs> I can see it happening for the next eight minutes, and that's okay. You and know what? Okay. Both communities, whether it be Bearcat Nation or Tight Nation, they're here to support their kids. Absolutely. And that's a okay with us. So here we go, folks. <laughs> Titans are going to take the ball out. I, I just – it doesn't get better than this in high school sports. And you know I, what? I think people that listen to us know we love was this. Was that OG's first lead that they it had? It was their the first game? lead. Okay. Yeah, first lead. Good good response by the Bearcats, though. Answer. Okay. Here's Erford from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Owen Sensiball, and he shoots out of there like a jet as he gets it down the floor. Gets it over to his brother, Will Sensiball. Will Sensiball is guarded by Caden Erford. They'll set up shop here with 7.40 to go in the game here. The oh. winner goes on to the regional semifinals. I'm making noises here because I'll tell you what, little Will's got his mind made up. If he can beat him off the dribble, he's going to do so. He sizes him up, doesn't he? Sizes oh, yeah. up, yeah. They're trying to go inside to Sutoff. Sutoff. Big Dave's gardening. Gardened by Westrick. Sutoff takes a little jumper, and it goes off the mark, and Dave Westrick grabs the rebound for the Titans. Nice job there, Westrick, of just sure walling up and not committing a foul. There's Erford with a little spin jumper there, and he misses the shot. My goodness, a lot of short-range jumpers being missed today. 7.05 to go. Will Sensabaugh with the drive, and he's going to be fouled by Grant Schrader. And you called it, Gilly. He was sizing up. He knew he could beat him off the dribble, and he got him in a foul. Oh, those two have such a basketball IQ. We you know, joked the other night, wonder where they get that from. Oh, but, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he does not say a whole lot to him. He just lets him run the show. This is Osteen with the ball guarded out top by Schrader. Gets it over to Owen Sensiball. He's guarded by Colin White. What a matchup of two premier players for their schools. Yeah, that was real close of a turnover sure right was. there. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School. And I, this, this is iconic, Gilly. I love district basketball at Lima Senior. It's absolutely the best. Well, in the chess match between both coaches. There goes Osteen. Osteen with the dribble drive, and he's going to be fouled by Schrader. And Osteen will go to the line. He almost knocked that one in, Gilly. And that's the third one on Schrader. Well, Osteen, you know, gives him such valuable minutes. And he's one of those quiet kids that if you look up, he's very capable of getting 8, 10 points a game. Osteen knocks in that. He's a, he's a cool customer, Gilly. He is, that kid, makes, nothing he, bothers him. No, and he makes solid decisions. With well, the I basketball. love watching this kid. But those three guards are fantastic. They are just fantastic. You know, 9.9 .9 points a game. Second one on the way, and it's good. <laughs> Evan Hosting says, I'm as cool well, as the I other mean, side of the pillar. Look at the scoreboard. 10, 9, yeah, 8, spread and 7. It out. We and talked about that off the yeah. four. It's about the balance scoring. 40, 37 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here come the Titans. Colin White spins around, goes baseline, takes the shot, misses it. Rebound comes down to Westry. He fires back to Erford. Erford dribble drives, takes it inside, and he misses the shot, gets his own rebound. He's going to take it back up and misses that one. And Erford... Miss the shot, Westry gets the rebound, and there you see the size of the Titans. Yeah, and I think they wanted to foul on the Erford shot on Orr, and they didn't get it. They felt like he was vertical. A great effort by the Titans on the glass. So Caden Erford will trigger the ball in with 6.13 to go. Colin White going against Evan Osting. He's going to try to take and Evan Osting tries to get a steal, and the ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to say it goes back to Let's see who it goes to. There's a Spencer Bell. Did you see the hands of Evan Osting? You got to be kidding me, Gilly. Colin White tried to go baseline, and Evan Osting sticks his hand in there and gets a steal. Stuck, stuck his hand in there, but did you notice what hand Colin wanted to put the ball in? Yes, I did. He wanted to put it in his left hand. And that's not taking anything away from Osting because I'll tell you what, they presented him with a lot of challenges tonight, that being White. With him putting the basketball on the floor, there's always somebody right around there here with come, him. Here comes nice the curl cut. This is Evan Sensabaugh. Thought about taking it up. He's going to get it back to his brother, Will, and they're going to set it back up. Nice move by Owen to get it back to Will Sensabaugh to set up the offense. Grady Tomazos all over Will Sensabaugh. He does not look like a freshman, Gilly. He is so composed out there running this offense. Well, oh, he loses Tomazos. Shot goes up, and he misses the triple. That would have been huge. Here come the Titans. Colin White brings it down. He's going to go up the right side, and he scores. Colin White. Wow, the future Buckeyes got 24, and it's 40-39 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 
Sensabaugh tries to go between his legs and they got a timeout. And yeah, Sensabaugh got the timeout and the OG faithful not happy. Well, With Coach McLaughlin, he thought he stepped out on the end line but the, the official at the near bench of Spencerville uh, granted the timeout before he stepped out. With 5.06 to go, we'll step aside. You're watching high school basketball on WOSA. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Our halftime show tonight was brought to you by the State Bank. For all your banking and financial services needs, visit yourstatebank.com. Never FDIC, equal housing lender. Gilly, the pressure's getting amped up here in the fourth quarter with 5.06 to go. Bearcats lead 40-39. They're going to double team the ball, and Will Sensiball tries to go baseline, and he steps out of bounds. And he's saying he was pushed out of bounds, and his head coach and his father tell him, just relax, son, we're okay. I love that moment right there. Yeah, he tried to take it down the right side of the floor, and any good defensive team is going to get a foot on the sideline, and I think he thought he could get by it and dribble the ball out of bounds. Turnover for Spencerville, their first of the fourth quarter. I got him unofficially with 11 for the ball game. White loses the ball. Here comes Sensiball as he brings it down the floor. He finds his brother cutting to the rim. He puts it up, and he's fouled. And he's fouled by Brody Fortman, the 6'4 sophomore. Gets him on the shot. That'll send Owen Sensiball out of the line to shoot two at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. I only got to see half that play, Gilly. <laughs> it's the 3,000 people on this side of the gym stood up. But that's okay. And that's okay. That's okay, because they are excited. I wouldn't have it any other way. Big free throw there Absolutely. by Owen Sensible. Knocks in the first one. Second one on the way, and it's good. Owen Sensible knocks it in. Owen's got 10 on the night, and he's tied for high honors for the Bearcats with Carter Sutoff. Both of those young men have 10 apiece, and the Bearcats lead 42-39. You know, the Titans get close. And Spencerville has an answer. Here's Colin White, gets to the rim, and he scores. Colin White, so effective of getting to the rim. He's got 26 on the night, and we're at 42-41 with 4.31 to go. Here's that pressure by the Titans. They break the containment. This is Carter, or as he gets it to set off, back to Osteen, back to Sensiball. Three ball on the way, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down the West Street. That was way out there, Gilly. Yeah. Colin White finds Erford in the corner, and... A near travel, but he throws it off of Owen Sensiball. Well, I tell you, that was a big-time rebound by Westrick. Yes, it was. I mean, he went up with two hands and corralled that one, and nobody in this gymnasium was going to take it out of his hands. 4-11 to go. Spencerville leads 42-41. This is going down as an instant classic, Gilly. They're going to talk about this one for a long, long, long time. time. They'll throw it into the front court. Tomazos brings it in. He's guarded by Will Sensabaugh. We're down to 4.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is Erford, and they're going to get uh, Evan Osting with the hand check as Erford was spinning to the rim. And that is Evan Osting's third foul of the night. He's well, got nine on the night. You know, that's it doesn't make a lot of fans happy, but that is in the rule book. That you cannot put your hands on somebody and impede them. Alley-oop to Colin White. Knocks it in. He's got 28 on the night. And the Titans lead 43-42 with 3.55 to go. Here comes Sensabaugh as he slices through there. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Evan Osting. Gets it back to Carter Orr. Orr finds Sensabaugh. Looking to get it into Sutoff on the low post. This is Sensabaugh. Dribble drive foul line. Or excuse me. Baseline. Gets it into Sutoff. Misses the shot. And he's going to be fouled on the shot. Carter Sutoff will shoot two at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, that was Tomasos that got him across the hand, especially on the replay that we just saw there. But uh, what a great take. Second lead, what, of the game for the Titans? Yes, second lead. Carter set off, first one up, and he misses that one. Gilly, this, this just has the feel of who has the ball last, you know? It really does. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to take care of the basketball, you know, and making solid quality decisions with the ball. That's misses both of yes. them. Huge free throws there from Carter Sutoff. Misses both of them. We're at 3.33 to go here. Titans lead 43-42, and everybody in the gym is on their feet. Caden Erford with the ball up top, guarded by Orr. This is White. He'll dribble drive baseline, takes it in on the left side, and he scores. 
Colin White knocks it in, and it's 45-42, and Colin White's got 30 to lead everybody. This is Will Sensabaugh, gets it over to Osting. Osting, three ball from the left side, and it's good. Evan Osting with the triple, <laughs> and it's 45-45. Somebody got 45. lost for the Titans defensively, and Osting spotted up and buried a big three right there. We got a monitor game here, Bill, Gilly, because uh, okay. they're not they're not going to sit for this one, and I don't you blame them. You can call me Billy, Gilly, <laughs> Silly, whatever you want to call me, partner. Three ball from the top of the key. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's brought down by Carter Sutoff, and White tries to tie him up, and they're going to say a foul on Colin White. That's the case. I believe that's three on him, or that's two. That is two on Colin okay. White, Gilly. So we will walk to the other and end. More importantly, we're going to shoot free throws. Well, they're over the limit now. You're absolutely right. So no no resetting these, these nope, fouls. Nope, not anymore. Now, if you're Ottawa Glandorf, you know, the person you got at the charity strike after the last two attempts is, is who you want there. And let's see if uh, Carter can redeem himself there here. He, he does. did. Nice Carter job. Set off. Great job of knocking that one in. Carter set off. has got 11 and the Bearcats regain the lead at 46-45 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Second one on the way. And it's missed, but it's tipped out, and it's grabbed by the Titans, and they'll get it over to Colin White with 2.41 to go here in the fourth quarter. Whoo, this one's fun, Gilly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Colin White. He'll dribble drive foul and He'll turn around, kick it to the corner. He'll go back up top. This is GT Grady Tomazos. They'll get it back to Colin White, 2 24 to go. What a game we've had here, folks. The Division Three District Finals from Lima Senior High School with a berth in the regional semifinals on the line. What a game it's been. There's a streaking Grant Schrader. Gets to the rim, and he scores. Grant Schrader, the senior guard, knocks it in. He's got six on the night, and it's 47-46. Titans take the lead. Did a good job using the screen by White. Curled around it and got right to the rim. Here's Will Sensible, fires up a three, misses that one. Ball goes out, and they're going to say it's back to Spencerville with 154 to go. So it's getting a little tighter, partner. OG takes a one-point lead. Good job there by Spencerville going after that basketball. Last touch by White. Schrader with a heck of a take there right into the chest to soot off to put the Titans back on top. Soot off with the ball up top trying to find one of his guards. We're at the 146 mark. This is Will Sensiball. Guarded by Tomazos up top. Gets a screen from Sutoff. Takes it inside and goes out of bounds. And I'm going to say it goes back to Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, Grady came from the backside trailing after the screen and got a piece of the basketball. Good job walling up by Westrick there for the help side, making it difficult for Will Sensiball to get to the rim. Evan Osting, three ball right side, and it's good. Are you kidding me? Evan Osting, oh for the my kid. goodness. Give him 15. That might as well be Evan Turner the way he's playing. Evan Osting with a huge triple, and the Bearcats lead 49-47 with 1.22 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Colin White. He's going to take it in. Little 10-foot jumper, misses the shot. Rebound comes down. It's brought in by Sensabaugh, and he's going to be fouled, and he's going to be fouled by Caden Erford. A tough break right there because the Titans did a great job banging the offensive boards. Just couldn't get the tip to go down. And then Erford, a little over aggressive. Gilly, Evan Ostings has been fantastic tonight. Yeah, he's fantastic. Been, he's been the difference. You know, he was the one in the run the other night that got him off to the good start. Here comes Owen Sensabaugh. First one's on the way and misses that one. So the Bearcats have missed. Five of the, four of the last five, I believe, yeah, from the line. Seven, excuse me, one thirteen to go here. And second one on the way, and he misses that one. Carter Orr gets the rebound, throws it off of Colin White, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats with one eleven to go, Gilly. What a huge play. Now, if you're Spencerville, Gilly, you got to hold on to the ball, and you got to make free throws. Well, <laughs> You know, it's it's one of those things. A missed box out by the Titans right there. That's another opportunity you're going to give Spencerville. But more importantly, they are, you know, every time they get fouled, they're shooting two free throws. And they're going to take a timeout. They're, yeah, with 1-11 to go here, Gilly, 47-49. Now, look, they're, they're going to get the ball in. Obviously, they want to kill some clock here with 1-11 to go. You know the pressure's coming. What are you telling your kids if you're Coach Sensible? 
if you're telling if your coach sensible, yes, absolutely, just to relax and play the game. You got 111 to go. You got to get a stop defensively, and if you get a stop defensively, be strong with the basketball, and go to the charity stripe and knock in your free throws. Gilly, we said it before the game. These three guards, Evan Osting, Will Sensible, and Owen Sensible, were the key for Spencerville. They have controlled this game with seven, 15, and 10, respectively. Well, They've been throw fantastic. In your, throw in your post player. Well, I'm not, no, I'm not taking anything away from Sutoff and Orr. Absolutely. They, but what I'm saying is but they've it's controlled. The three, it's the three guards, absolutely. That, And I don't, like I said, I don't think Ottawa Glandorf has seen three guards with as much basketball savvy sure. as what they have right there is what they're seeing today. And I think Coach McLaughlin will be the first one to admit that. Stick around after this one for the post-game show. Our post-game show brought to you by Lima Chevy Cadillac. And we'll also pick a Stolly Hustle Award winner. We don't know who that's going to be because we don't know who's going to win this ball game right now. This is a big <laughs> one for Ottawa Glandorf. They need to get a stop here and get the basketball back. Well, if you're, if you're, we talked about Kevin Sensible. If you're Tyson McLaughlin, you absolutely are telling your kids, we got to get a steal here. They'll throw it in, and Evan Osteen will get it into front court. We're down to 109 to go. Evan Osting with the ball. Spencerville with one timeout left. Ottawa Glandorf with three unofficially on the scoreboard. They'll try to get it into set off. Evan Osting drives baseline. He's stopped there by Grant Schrader. We're down under a minute, Gilly, at 54 seconds to go. Osting with the ball. Gets a screen out top from Ori. He goes the opposite way. He's going to turn it around. He'll go back to Will Sensible. We're down to 43 seconds. Bearcats lead 49-47. And this is how much confidence he has in his basketball team to take care of the ball. Gets it over to Carter Orr. Carter Orr, and they're going to say, let's see. Who did we get the foul on? Is that Erford? I'm looking at the board here, and it is Caden Erford with the foul with 31 seconds That's to go. That's his fourth. And that'll send Carter Orr to the free throw line. Folks, Carter Orr. For the season is a 70% shooter. You want him on the line. First one is on the way, and it's good. Carter Orr, cool as a cucumber. He's got five on the night, and he ups the lead to 50-47 with 31 seconds to go. Second one is on the way, and he misses that one. Here come the Titans with a chance to tie. Here comes Colin White. He'll bring it down the left side. We're at 20 Three seconds, gets it over to Erford. Erford thought about taking it, and they're going to get a foul on Carter Orr out by the three-point line. That, you know what? That's okay. That's a good job by Orr, you know, closing out. Even though he did commit the foul, he did not give Erford a clean look for that three. And so. it does not put him at the charity stripe, so they've still got one more foul to give, and we're at 21 seconds to go. What a game we've had today from Lima Senior High School. The Division Three District Championship on the line. And OG will try to get it in. They get it in to Erford. Erford thought about taking the three. He dribble drives. And they're going to take a timeout. Coach uh, McLaughlin will take a timeout here, Gilly. A good job by Orr again. I mean, that they run the screen to get Erford in the corner for a three. And he really closed out with high hands there and did not give him a free opportunity. Forced an OG to take their, you know, last timeout, according to what I have. I think they're done with timeouts, partner, aren't they? Yeah. No, I'm, I, my, my no they got, they got, got two, two, left. two left. But, Gilly, what a great job by the Bearcats of keeping Colin White away from the basketball mm -hmm. and not allowing him to catch it. We talk all the time about the defense of keeping him out of the rim, make, making him a tough shots. We don't talk about off-the-ball defense and keeping him away from it. Well, they did a really good job. They tried to slide him down to the paint to the backside block, and Osting was right there to meet him. You know what? He's got 30 but he's earned every point that he's had, you know, tonight. You're absolutely right. So here we go, partner, with 16 points. Look at all the people filming with their cameras wanting to catch this last shot here or this great ending by both these teams. So the Titans will throw it in, and they get it in. Wagner with the jumper from the right side. And oh, what a big in. three. Alex Wagner knocks in the three. Here come the Bearcats. We're down to 10. Bearcats will bring it down. We're at seven seconds. This is Will Sensible over to Evan Osting. Evan Osting with the ball. He's going to take a three. Shot goes up, and it's off the mark, and we're going to overtime. Are you kidding me, Gilly? Extra basketball. Extra basketball. That's exactly right. Oh, my goodness. We got overtime. When we come back, you're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. <laughs> We're going to overtime. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is the Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor. <laughs> Gilly, I don't know that I've seen a bigger shot than what Alex Wagner You're just getting all out. excited, and I'm shaking my head. I am really disappointed in Alex Wagner because all of his threes come from the corners, and that one right there come from a wing. So, Alex, I'm disappointed in you for your 26 made three on the year. No, all jokes aside, that's probably the biggest shot that young man's ever shot oh, and wow. hit. And you, you see the blue and gold on the other side standing, and you see the red and black over here. You know what? What a what a what a great game! What a high school bad. We'll talk about this one for years. You betcha. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, from a sold out overtime filled gym here at Lima Senior, and they'll tip it up again. And the rebound or the tip comes down to the OG Titans. We're knotted at 50. Well, what do you think, partner? Think we'll uh, get past the 60 mark here in overtime? Uh. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, it's going to be close the way they defend. There's Colin nice White loses the ball. Will Sensabaugh brings it in. He's going to take it down, and he's going to score. Will Sensabaugh scores, and it's 52-50 into overtime with 3.37 to go. What a huge play by the Bearcats. Big steal right there. Forced the turnover. Deflection. There's White with the ball up top. He dribble drive right side, and he takes it in and scores. Colin White, he's got 32 on the night, and he's not been denied all night, and we're knotted at 52. Carter Orr brings it down, gets it over to his guard. They'll go Evan Osting on the right side. 3.14 to go here in the overtime period. Four-minute overtime period, Gilly. Four-minute overtime. Four minutes. So not a lot of time. You better get your affairs in order here in the overtime. Sensabaugh gets a screen out top. Tried to take... Schrader off the dribble, a little turnaround jumper, and it's off the mark, and rebound comes down, and Westrick will bring it in. Good job by Westrick on the box out, keeping Orr as well as Sudoff away from the offensive glass. Colin White with the ball out top. He's going to dribble drive foul line. He's going to take the jumper, and he misses it, and rebound comes down, and they're on the ground, and it's going to be a – no, they're going to say OG got the timeout. Heady play there by GT, Absolutely. Grady Tomasos securing the basketball and taking a timeout. OG gets the timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School with 2.35 to go in overtime. We're knotted at 52. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Boy, Matt's Heating and Cooling, Gilly could do some work in here because it's 125 degrees. <laughs> 125? <laughs> That was two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, Kelsey's over there sweating on the camera. <laughs> oh, shoot. So here we go, folks, with 2.35 to go in overtime. Uh, let's see what we drew up here. See if we Colin can't get White. a sneaky one here. Gets it over to Westrick. He'll swing it back to Schrader. He'll go back to Erford. Erford thought about pulling the trigger on the three. He's going to dribble drive to the foul line. Tries to split the double team, and they'll kick it back out to Schrader. Nice job, job there. Yeah, by the Bearcats. We're doing at 2.22 great to go. Job. And a really heady play by Erford. He could have forced that up there and kicked it back outside. 52-52 in overtime. Westrick will swing it around to Tomazos. Tomazos tried to find Colin White on the screen off the baseline. This is White. He's going to dribble drive left the side. Was very good, and partner. he puts it up and he misses the shot. Rebound comes down. Carter Orr brings it in, and there's going to be a foul on the play. Yeah, I think they got Tomasos on the reach. Westrick got his hands on the basketball, on the rebound. Well, you looked at Colin White. He looked like he switched hands, Gilly, as he took it up. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got to the rim. And they got a second opportunity with Westrick. So huge free throws here by Carter Orr with 159 to go. Carter Orr's got five on the night. He's a 70% free throw shooter. At the Lee's famous recipe free throw line, first one on the way, and he misses it off the back iron. Spencerville having their troubles at the free throw line here in the fourth quarter and in overtime. Second one on the way, and he misses that one and Westrick goes to the floor with the ball 
and he gets it out to Colin White. Yeah, they were really fortunate right there. That could have easily turned into a turnover and an easy layup. Good job by Colin White coming back and securing that basketball. 150 to go here in overtime. Nodded at 52. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from a sold-out Lima Senior High School with a regional berth on the line. Find Colin White cutting to the basket, and he misses the shot, but he gets his rebound, Stay and he puts it, it back in. Colin White's got 34 to lead all scores, and it's 54-52 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Oh, they adjusted. Now they're going a little three-quarter court now. So changing it up are the Titans on the defensive end. They'll get it over to Sensaboss. Sensaboss brings it up top. 119 to go here in overtime. You can come a little closer. That's partner. right. <laughs> it's just Sensabaugh. He'll go Owen Sensabaugh in the corner, guarded by Schrader. He's going to dribble drive, kick it back out to Will Sensabaugh. Oh, real close to a walk. Freshman against a senior right here, folks. Two really good players. Sutoff gets a screen on Colin White. Oh, a big time screen. They're trying to get the ball down low. We're under 54 seconds to go here. Back out to Owen Sensible. This is Will Sensible. Oh, Three ball on the look. way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's brought down by the Titans. And the Titans have the ball with 43 seconds to go and a 54-52 lead. And Ostings is going to foul right away on Colin White. Big rebound there by Erford. Well, you can't ask for a better look. You know, top right. of the key three, uncontested. I'll let that young man shoot that every time. Oh, absolutely. You run your offense to perfection. That's a high percentage shot, especially with nobody defending you. Well, next foul, both teams are going to be in that double bonus situation more so. Uh, that's what you want to call it. Titans have the ball in the hands of the guy they wanted to have, and they're going to get a foul. It looks like No, it looks like Coach McLaughlin's going to get a timeout with 26 seconds to go. So with 26 seconds to go here in overtime, the OG Titans lead 54-52. And, Gilly, what a special game this has been. And one of these teams is going to go on to the regional semifinals at Bowling Green next week, and one of them's going home. And the team going home might be as good as any other team in the regionals. Well, that's, you know, that's what we talked about earlier. You know what? They're both regional, ca regional caliber teams more so to start with, but I'm not so sure they, they're not one of the top four Division threes, and that's no disrespect no, 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 to no. anybody else. No, I get it. But, uh, yeah, this one, you're definitely going to be battle-tested. If you get to the regional, you've earned your way there. You're looking at these free throws for the Titans. Alex Wagner, 65. Grant Tommaso, 75. Uh, let me see, Brady Fortman, 87-5, Colin White, 79, Caden Erford, 76. You know, like you said, David just hasn't been there enough because of his injury, but you got to believe Spencerville has is, is talked about it. They're going to have to make a decision. They're going to have to make a decision here quick. Do you play for the steal, or, do you, you know, do you uh, – Put him at the charity stripe. And they get the ball to Colin White in the backcourt. He's guarded by Evan Osting. We're at yeah, 22 here comes seconds. The, here comes the run and jump on him. Will Sensiball comes out. They got three on him. They'll get it over to Erford. Erford on the side. Owen Sensiball is going to have to foul him with 14 seconds to go and a 54-52 lead. And a little bit of chippiness there. It's been a hard-fought game. Nothing dirty. So Carter, or excuse me, Mr. 75.6. Erford will yep, go to the free throw line. Yep. He will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line, and he will get ready to shoot his first one. 14.5 seconds to I go. I guarantee he makes first one. That second one's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. First one is on the way, and it's good. The senior who's been there, done that, knocks it in. Erford's got six on the night, and he's got a huge free throw right here. Coach Johnson, the assistant coach at Ottawa Glandorf, up. Tell them what they want to do defensively, point a pickup. Second one on the way, and he does. Knocks it in. Yeah, that second one looked like throwing it in the ocean, didn't it? Here comes the Bearcats. Titans lead by four. Here come the Bearcats. We're at nine seconds. Get a screen. Sensible tries to get it up. Carter Orr with the ball, trying to get a shot up, takes it in, and he misses the shot. And the shot goes up, and that's going to do it. That ends it from Lima Senior High School. The Ottawa Glandorf Titans defeat the Spencerville Bearcats 56-52. We'll wrap this one up right after these messages.
Welcome back to Lima Senior High School where they are giving out the awards for the runner-up and the district champion, Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, from an overtime game here at Lima Senior, won by Ottawa Glandorf. Our post-game sponsor tonight is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. Our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. You can check out the highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. And our winner tonight, Gilly, is... Well, you know what? After we sat and we conferred on this... Their season really started to play much better at the defensive end of the floor when they got their 6-7 post presence back. Even though he only had five points tonight, I thought he did a phenomenal job on the interior changing shots as well as rebounding it at both ends of the floor. And that's going to be six foot seven senior Dave Westrick. Did a great job, did he not? And all of the Spencerville Bearcats, they fall short in this one. 56-52. When we come back, we'll wrap this one up and have a few final thoughts. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School where we're wrapping this one up as they've given out the trophies for the district championship to the Ottawa Glendorf Titans as they defeat the Spencerville Bearcats 56-52 in overtime in Gilly. Cheers on one side, tears on the other. What a valiant effort from the Spencerville Bearcats. Well, and this is the this is the hard part, and this is the part that I hate because you got two communities that love basketball and they love, you know, Bearcat Nation and Titan Nation and, and to see how the game unfolded uh, in an overtime game. Anybody that had a seat in this gymnasium or stood got to see a whale of a game, and I'm totally in agreement with you. I think this is going to be one where it's going to be one for the ages, and it's going to be a, a memory-filled one. And, you know, tough tough for Spencerville, you know, tough for those uh, seniors, Carter, or excuse me, Carter Sudoff, Ryan Bowser, Michael Woods, and Everett Osteen to end their career this way, but they have nothing to be ashamed of. They won the Northwest Conference Championship. They got back here to the district finals. They have nothing to hang their heads about. They, they played a great game against a really good opponent in Ottawa Glendorf that's rich in basketball tradition. And uh, best of luck to them and Coach Sensible and his staff. Classy, classy group. And on the other side, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, you know what? They're one step closer. You know, they got two more steps and hurdles to, to clear, and then it's back to Dayton. And, you know, they're on a mission, and uh, these seniors are going to lead them. And uh, best of luck to the Titans as they head to Bowling Green, and you've got that information yeah, to they, share. Yeah, they, they play Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, and they'll play the winner of Archbold and Emmanuel Christian. So some heavy competition for the Titans. Uh, just a well-rounded game, Gilly. Look, the crowd was incredible. The atmosphere was incredible. Everything we expect here on WOSN of a district championship game. Absolutely. And you know what? The unique thing is if it is Archibald, you know, Ottawa Glendorf used to play them year in and year yes, out. Yeah. You know, I think this is the first year they haven't had them on the schedule. So that's always been a Donnie Brook of a game. But uh, Emmanuel Christian is there for a reason, and that's going to be a heck of a basketball game. I guarantee Coach McLaughlin, as soon as he leaves here, those coaches are going to get something to eat. You know where they're heading tonight. <laughs> that's right. They You're will be at that right. doggone district final game scouting. So that'll wrap it up from Lima Senior High School. For our camera crew, Derek Henry, Kelsey Beimer, our director, Jennifer Beck, for Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook saying, folks, we'll see you next week for regional basketball action. You've been watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back here to Lima Senior High School, where the Ottawa Glendorf Titans advance to the regional semifinals with a 56-52 win. Our postgame sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. And we are joined now by head coach Tyson McLaughlin. And coach, what a great game your kids play tonight. Sum up this big victory. Absolute dogfight. And, uh, you know, that's 
this is what high school basketball should be, you know, and I, I think sometimes, you know, uh, of late people are so worried about other things, but this is what high school basketball is all about. Two great programs going at it, sellout crowd. It was just, you know, it, somebody had to lose, you know, unfortunately, you know, Sp Spencerville fell a little short there, but I couldn't be prouder of our guys of just staying with it and uh, just just finding a way to get a win. Yeah, and, it, uh, you know, we talked here in the broadcast, Spencerville had a lot of momentum most of the game. Did you talk to your kids about, you know, regaining that momentum and you finally got it? We just talked about staying the course, and, you know, we've worked too hard, um, you know, to, to let a performance, have somebody just outwork us. And I thought, you know, there was times where they just outworked us, you know, offensive rebounds, off foul shots. We went brain dead a couple of times after we scored, um, you know, uncharacteristic things for us. Um, and, but... We just said, you got to find a way. You know, this, this isn't a pep talk now. This is, it's kind of put up or shut up. And, and our guys have been in these situations before. And, you know, when you had, you know, 22 in the back pocket, you know, it does, it helps some things yeah. out. And we had talked during the broadcast, Coach. Uh, Dave Westry coming back from an injury. And, boy, he really played a nice game. Didn't score a lot of points, but, boy, he really benefited a lot on the offensive and defensive boards. Dave Westry, it, again, I'm, I'm going to use the same phrase, it, is what high school sports is about. Tears his ACL late spring, doesn't have a surgery until late May, works his tail off all summer, all fall, to have an opportunity to, to play high school basketball. It, we didn't know what kind of impact he was going to have. But we talked today, you know, I pulled him aside and, you know, I, I just said, look, you've worked for this moment right here. Now you got a body that you have to go out there and you got to wall up. You got to rebound for us. You got to do those little things. And uh, for him to come in there and uh, to do what he did just speaks volumes. I mean, everybody's going to talk about Colin and, sure. and rightfully so. Yeah, absolutely. Rightfully so. And, and Cade gets so much, you know, recognition and attention. Rightfully so. But the performance of our supporting cast, you know, the Alex Wagner you know, Alex it, Wagner, you know, what a huge Dave shot. Westrick, <laughs> you know, those are the, the unsung heroes, and that's what makes the team special, and, and that's what makes this win so special. You know, Colin's got 34, but I'm going to be talking about Alex Wagner for a <laughs> long time. That's what Gilly said, the same thing, Coach. Hey, let me, before I let you go, do you know anything about your maybe next to Emmanuel Christian or Archibald? You know much about either of them? You know, we've played Archibald a lot in the past. Yep. We didn't play him this year, but, you know, we, that's a, about a, a team that we know as much of you know, postseason sure, wise sure. As, as anybody. Uh, we've had a lot of battles with them. Great program. Emmanuel Christian uh, got a lot of really good players. Uh, you know, fortunately for us, now that the girls, uh, you know, we're playing tonight, uh, we get an opportunity to go scout that game. So, <laughs> That's uh, exactly what Gilly said. You guys are going to head up that way. I'm not, so. uh, I'm not too disappointed <laughs> about having that opportunity. So, you yeah. know, we'll, don't know a whole lot about him, to be honest with you. And uh, until tomorrow, you know, we really won't dive in too much. Well, Coach, congratulations. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans win this one 56-52. Coach McLaughlin and myself will be back right after these messages. Here at Lima Senior High School, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans have punched their ticket to the regional semifinals with a huge overtime 56-52 win over the Spencerville Bearcats. Joining me now is Colin White. Colin, congratulations on a huge win for your Titans. Well, thank you. It's a, it was a hard-fought one for sure, but happy to come away with the win. Absolutely. 34 points. Did you think it would take you to get in 34 to win this one tonight? You know, I, I don't know coming into games, you know, but I'm prepared to, in all facets uh, to either score 10 points or score 34, so it doesn't matter to me as long as we win. What were your thoughts when Alex Wagner hit maybe, maybe the biggest shot of your career? <laughs> oh, man. It went in, and I didn't even have time to process. We had to get into a defense, and, you know, it was a different defense than we were in before, so I'm just screaming, running around like a chicken with my cat, head cut off, trying to get into a defense and kind of got settled down and forced him into a tough shot. Yeah, so Colin, good. I want to ask you about the Spencerville Bearcats and what a valiant effort they put on tonight. Those three guards were a problem for you guys for most of the game. Yeah, they, they played really well, and, you know, we knew they were going to play well. You know, they're good players, and the Sensible kids have a really bright future. And, and then the Osteen kid played really good today. He played more, probably one of the best games yes. we've seen. And, uh, and so, you know, just con trying to contain them and, and hold them to, you know, single digits or, you know, keep them out of the paint. Dave Westrick, your 6'7 senior, who hasn't played a lot of basketball this year, didn't score a lot of points tonight, but how valuable was he on the glass tonight? He was so good. Big time, big time. You know, he's uh, banging with Carter uh, solo down there. Or he was just, he was special, you know, and, that, and that he's worked so hard to come back from a torn ACL and, 
you know, play in a game like this, and he did a great job. Yeah, one step closer to another trip to Dayton in the regionals next week. Emmanuel Christian or Archibald, your coach said he didn't know who you are going to play. He didn't care. <laughs> No, don't, really don't care, but no, we're ready for anyone. Absolutely. Colin White, our guest tonight, 34 big points for the Titans as they win 56-52.